Victory Train, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. The imagery of this verse is taken from the ancient Near East and in in those countries, Egypt and Assyria, during that time, the kings, the potentates, the monarchs, they had elaborate thrones, massive thrones, high above the people, and they had long flowing robes, and behind those robes was a piece of cloth that was called a train. If you watch any of the royals, and you'll sometimes see them walking with a piece of cloth that's dragging behind the robe, and that's called a train. And the bigger the train, the more victorious you are. And how that got to be was when the Assyrian kings and the Egyptian kings would take over another kingdom and they defeated another king, they would take the king, the defeated king's robes, cut the train off the robe, and have it sewn onto their own. So the more victory that they had, the longer their train was. And uh, here, Isaiah is using that imagery about a high throne that is as high as the heavens and about a train that so fills up the temple. The idea is is that God is an ever victorious, ever conquering, never defeated God. He's he's the almighty God, all powerful, omnipotent, omniscient, uh, omnipresent. He's the omni everything God. And that's what Isaiah is trying to get at. But here's a more beautiful thing that you, as a born-again believer, Isaiah is picturing the temple, the literal temple in the Old Testament. You in the New Testament, according to Acts chapter 7 and other passages where in Corinthians where Paul says, you are the temple of God. And you know what? His train, his victory, fills you. You can move and live in victory because of who God is. Not because of who you are, not because of how strong you are. You can move in victory because of how victorious God is, how great God is, how good God is. So I just want to encourage you to move out of the realm of defeated thinking into the realm of victorious thinking because of the victory train. The the train of victory that is in Old Testament book of Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1 is in you because the Holy Spirit of God indwells you and and the train of victory runs right through the middle of your life. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this night. I thank you for my dear friends. I pray that you would bless them. Help them to rest tonight. Let them rest in the victory that they have in you. Let them rest in the, the knowledge that you have already conquered death. You've defeated the devil. You now are just waiting for the time to call an end to this mess that is down here. and Bring us home to heaven to be with you. Watch out over us. Grant us a good night. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more.